doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. Positioning is power. Once you position yourself around the right people, that's when you win. Now, yes, it takes skill set, knowledge, wisdom, and discipline to be put in those rooms with the right people. But once you are put in those rooms, that, my friend, is when you start getting into a new paradigm. That, my friend, is when all the blessings and opportunities start coming in to change your life. Position yourself in the right room with the right people. That's when your life will change. I gotta elevate. I've been praying to God for a better way. I concentrate on my goals and I meditate. Make sacrifices for time and I dedicate. I gotta elevate. I'ma make sure the family forever straight. They wouldn't listen, now I gotta devastate. I'm on your ass and I won't let you get away. I gotta elevate. Winners win and losers lose. Now what does this mean? Winning is not a final product. Winning is a lifestyle. It is what you do on a daily basis that leads you to that winning lifestyle. Now the same goes for losers. They instill bad habits such as hanging out around the wrong people, doing bad things, watching bad things, feeding their mind with bad things, and talking down on themselves and many more. I am a winner, not because of what I have achieved, not because of what I did yesterday, and not because of what I will do tomorrow, but because of what I do today and the habits that I instill. People will come to me and ask me, Jack, why is my life like crap? And I'll simply answer is, it is because of what you are doing on a daily basis that affects this. Now, if you want to stop losing in life, start instilling good habits into your daily lifestyle, and I promise you, that's when you'll start seeing a change. I'm not competing against you, him, or her. I'm competing against myself. So, ladies and gentlemen, winners win and losers lose. Pick a side and go after it. I was walking and I walked into a spider web. I look above me and there's a huge web The spider sitting smack in the middle of it. And I realized, wow, that spider took a lot of time and effort to be able to create that web so it could catch its food. I also noticed the spider wasn't out there chasing its food, it wasn't out there looking for food. It positioned itself correctly so the food would come to him instead of him coming to chase the food. And I see with society, a lot of us, including me, we like to chase that food, the success in life, instead of positioning ourselves properly so that we can attract it towards us. But we tend to chase it. So learn to be like a spider and stop chasing that success in life. Position yourself correctly so it comes towards you. I see a lot of people in life, they're afraid of being uncomfortable but they should actually be afraid of being in their comfort zone because when they're in their comfort zone, they're limiting themselves from getting to the next level in life. So make sure you're making yourself uncomfortable, waking up later, sacrificing, staying up late, right? Putting in the work, doing stuff that others don't. You have to be able to do stuff you never did to get to the level that you've never been to before. So make sure you're putting yourself in uncomfortable situations because then I promise you that's when you'll get to the next level. Don't listen to those small-minded people because those are the same people that don't want you to succeed. It's like a millionaire. If they see you trying to make money, they're gonna help you out. They're not gonna talk you out of it or talk you down because they know that what they know what's possible because they've already accomplished it and they believe in you. But losers in life, they'll try to tear you apart. They seem like your greatest friend, but they're actually your greatest enemy. So you gotta watch out for them. They'll try to tear you down. Make sure you don't succeed because they haven't succeeded. They failed and they don't want you to succeed. Otherwise, it pinpoints what they did wrong and how they're losers. So make sure you're surrounding yourself around the right people. And don't let small-minded people talk you out of your dreams. You got this. Go accomplish those dreams. Get to work. mistake that you can make is to give up number one you're gonna feel like you're a loser and you're gonna lose self-confidence number two 
You're gonna close opportunities and doors that could have been opened for success and blessings into your life. Number three, you have a lot of regret. So ladies and gentlemen, do not give up, trust the process. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen earlier, winners win and losers lose. Pick a side and go at it. I'll see you in the next one.